female gladiators. That's all it took to get me hooked into the idea of this novel. Hey internet, it's Megan and random intro aside, let's go ahead and jump into today's video which is a book review for The Valiant by Leslie Livingston. This book takes place during the reign of Caesar and it is about a Celtic princess named Fallon who is about to join her father's tribe of warriors and it's something she's been training for her whole life, she's very excited about it. And then she gets kidnapped on that night and taken to Rome to be sold as a slave. If there is anything that Fallon truly hates in this world, it is Caesar. When she was a little girl, he brought war to her shores and she lost her sister in the ensuing battles. And she just despises him with every fiber of her being. Her sister's death deeply, deeply affected Fallon. And that's why it's kind of interesting because through a twist of fate, she ends up being sold to a gladiator school and has to fight for Caesar. And of course this is an enraging feeling, but at the same time she's desperate to prove herself. During her training, Fallon finds herself making alliances and enemies due to her defiant and individualistic nature and her desire for vengeance. Alongside the obvious danger that Fallon faces in the arena, there is unrest building in the city and it's gonna take all of Fallon's training and intuition to survive what is coming. This book was such a unique and intriguing read for me because I am obsessed with fairy tales, especially Celtic fairy tales. And my favorite has always been about the Morgan, who is the goddess over fate and war. And she is the god that Fallon's tribe worships. And it is pretty much through her dedication to her beliefs that Fallon finds a way to cope with everything that she's dealing with and to find her own inner strength. Fallon is such a strong and flawed character that I absolutely loved her. I identified with some of her strengths and some, well, quite a few of her weaknesses to be completely honest. There is such a strong female friendship between Fallon and Elka, another one of the slaves who was sold to the gladiator school at the same time. They start off as rivals and then they just build this friendship that's based on mutual respect and the ability to take care of themselves, but also the desire to make sure that the other person is taken care of. And honestly, you don't see enough female friendships like that, especially in the young adult arena. The setting of this novel was like so rich and tangible almost. I like saw the battles happening and that was just an amazing thing that the author was able to bring. One of the few things I didn't care for with this novel was the romance aspect. For the story itself, it wasn't 100% necessary to tell this story. I did really appreciate the love interest of Kai, but I mean, he was a great character. I kind of felt like the romance aspect was there to just check off a box. Female gladiators, check. Badass women, check. Female empowerment, check. Romance, check. Honestly, this this book could have been fine without it. Additionally, I felt like this story was just a little slow to start. Um, it did take me a couple of chapters to really dig into it, but once I was there, I couldn't put the book down. Finally, I wanted to talk about the political subplot. The novel took place around the reign of Caesar, and obviously Caesar ended up with, like, internal air conditioning? I don't know, that's kind of a really, really morbid way to look at it. The way that the politics was layered in with the story Yes, obviously it, it had some political commentary, but one of the best things about this writing style and the political subplot and how it was just woven in there is it was done in just a minimalistic way that you know something build, is building it, something bigger is happening, but it's not really talked about yet, which is totally why I bought the sequel, because yes. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much where I came from with this book. I absolutely loved it. I did pick up The Defiant as soon as humanly possible, and all in all, I gave this book four out of five stars. I highly recommend it, and I hope you guys will pick it up and enjoy it, especially if you like stuff about gladiators, because wow. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys had fun watching it. I hope I didn't take up too much of your time, and uh, I honestly, I just hope you pick up the book. It was really good and definitely worth it. Bye.